Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. In this tutorial, we are going to be covering a lesser spoken about functionality and feature of the famous Avalon VT737 SP channel strip, which I have here in front of me. Now, whether you're utilizing the analog hardware, which I have here, or you're using the more recently released plugin from UAD, the functionality is the same. Now, this is one of the most debated channel strips. It's been used on countless hit records. Some engineers love it, others not so much. The main complaint is usually that the compressor is slow and limited. However, I'm one of those people that in my uh, studio experience, this thing always just tends to give you a great result and it's hard to get a bad sound out of it. However, the functionality that we're going to look at today, I would argue makes it one of the more versatile compressors and tone shapers. It's going to save you a ton of time in the mixing process and it's really become an invaluable tracking tool uh, for me with the 737. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so we're taking a look at the front panel of the Avalon 737. This is the EQ section. First thing we want to do is just hit our equalizer in button. That activates the EQ. I'm going to go ahead and just boost up the treble just a little bit. Get a little air up here at 20K, 32K signature air uh, bands here on the 737. And then we can also go and we can adjust our bass a little bit if we want to add some low end. Or in this case, I'm going to take a little bit out. We've got a little bit of low mud there. So these are going to function independently of what we do with sidechain mids, which is activated by this button right here. So we click on and you'll notice that when we hit that, these bands here are not going to do anything. Okay, so that is switching in these two bands to trigger the compressor or to more finely focus the compressor on the frequencies that we set here and then it will dynamically control those. So if we look at the markings here on the EQ for the low mid and the high mid bands, you're going to see our frequencies written here. Now if I set this to, for example, right here at 1K on the high mid, with these buttons off, that's exactly what this is going to control or to trigger the compressor. Now really powerful thing about the EQ here in the Avalon is if we hit the X10 button, that will multiply these markings by 10 and we'll then set that band to that frequency. So for example, 1K then becomes 10K. So if I wanna target, let's say seven or 8K, which is gonna be the problematic area of some S's, I can just hit X10 and set this somewhere between 550 and 1K, and that's actually gonna be more towards about 7K or 8K, right? And if you're not quite sure what frequency you wanna target, just turn off sidechain mid, and then just boost that frequency. So you're gonna hear as I boost that, our S's start to get really harsh. So I know I've dialed that in where I want it. Now these work together. So you can actually set this and this. We're just gonna use the high mid today, but just to get your wheels turning, you could uh, target 7K to tame. And then also let's say you had some harshness at like 2K, 3K, you could also set that band. Now to get side chain mids to trigger the compressor, we need to aggressively boost this band now. So I'm just gonna set that to about 10 dB, something like that. And I'm also going to activate high Q. That's gonna give us a more narrow slope on the frequencies that are being controlled there. So it's gonna be more specific and more finely tuned to this frequency that we've selected here with the high mid uh, band. Now we're sliding over to the compressor section and we wanna go ahead and just turn the compressor on. Right now with the ratio at one to one and the threshold set like this, there's gonna be no gain reduction. Right now we're just seeing the VU meter uh, signifying our signal, no pun intended. But if I select this button, this is going to now monitor the gain reduction of the compressor. So you can see we're at zero. But when you're setting this, the sidechain mids mode, and you wanna see how much taming is happening, we wanna go ahead and activate that so we can see the gain reduction shown on our VU meter. Now I've experimented with the sidechain mids mode quite extensively, and I've found that setting the attack and the release time to as fast as it will go here, I don't have the baby face mod or anything like that, but it's plenty fast for this. And then I also will set the compressor ratio to something quite high, more towards like what a limiter would do. I like to set it at 10 to one. And then we're gonna slowly bring the threshold back 
until we start, until we start, until we start, start to get some gain reduction on our S's specifically. So you can see over here, our meter is now reacting quite uh, heavily to the S's, S's. And you want to set that until you're getting, you know, about three, four, maybe five dB at the most. Uh, as far as tracking, you don't want to do anything too aggressive with that. The idea here is just to tame that during tracking and just kind of even out some performance issues, maybe some uh, sonic issues in terms of the microphone or the vocalist itself. But you don't want to get too aggressive with what you're doing here during tracking. Just as an example, we can select two different active bands for the dynamic EQ here. So if I go ahead and we boost this one, say at 450 times 10, that's gonna be at four and a half K. Then I boost this, that will also uh, reduce that range at the same time. So we're gonna get a lot of compression up there in that uh, upper mid section and just control that. So I'm just adjusting the threshold a little bit so that we are uh, fine tuning that. So no matter what mic you have or what vocalist you're dealing with, utilizing that dynamic processing for two different bands and having control over all those different frequencies, it just allows you to uh, sonically control your signal in a very powerful way. There's really not a lot of analog hardware compressors out there that will give you that much flexibility as far as a dynamic processor, which is really, really useful for tracking and getting the best performance out of your vocalists. All right, so with that, we have uncovered a lesser spoken about feature in the Avalon 737, which is the sidechain mid mode, utilizing those two bands of the EQ and then triggering the compressor to tame problematic frequencies in a very precise way. Uh, those of you out there who are dealing with some issues in terms of your microphone, your performance, you can really dial this in and get a sound that's gonna work so much better uh, coming into your DAW and in the mixing process, gonna save you a tremendous amount of time. If you have any questions about how we utilized sidechain mid mode in the 737, feel free to let us know. If you learned anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. Hit that notification bell for more. We'll talk to you soon.